Bots and machines are used throughout nearly every single aspect of our lives. You'll see self-serve kiosks at McDonald's. You'll see Roombas sometimes vacuum your house. Even on Hypixel, you'll see occasional watchdog bots zoom around you. Even things that you may not think are bot managed are indeed bot managed. And before I put that thought into anyone's heads, yes, appeals are still human managed. Why am I starting off with this spiel about bots and such? Well, today, a brand new developer log was just posted on the forums, revealing some pretty interesting things. What's going on everyone? It's your favorite blue guy here, and today, I'm gonna discuss developer log number 11 on the Hypixel forums, which details machine learning on the network, and how it's slowly being implemented into everything we know today. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, or on the doorstep of 5,000 subscribers. Let's reach it. So I'll start with this. I'm pretty sure a solid 95% of players who read this developer log are gonna barely understand most of it. I should know, I'm one of them. This was actually brought to my attention in my Discord server by Cookie Billy, who notified me about this thread and how it could be a good topic for a video. After reading it, I agree. Thanks, Cookie Billy. So this edition of Developer Log was posted by Inventive Talent, who's been with the team for a good two years now. Inventive Talent works mainly in the internal moderation system, meaning Inventive Talent mostly deals with creating the systems for reporting in-game. So chat reports, regular reporting in-game is her specialty. Something in this Developer Log caught my attention really fast, and it was something that I had no idea was happening. In short, by examining patterns, staff can now handle chat reports by using this AI that predicts which reports are more likely to be offenders. Yes, you heard me. Chat reports. A system that I always thought of to be an only human thing is in fact converting to a prediction system that acts based on patterns of past infractions. The developer log states the exporting process and it goes as follows. Load a bunch of reports, usually from the last month or longer, to have a nice amount of data to train on. And if a punishment was issued, include the type of punishment. Load the chat messages included in the report. Clean up the messages. This involves converting the text to lowercase, applying Unicode normalization, and removing removing excessive punctuation in white spaces. Then finally, write the data to a file to be accessed by the system as part of pattern recognition. It's a system that, according to the log, has been going on for a few months now. In the last 14 days alone, 1500 of the 9000 chat reports, or approximately 17%, have been automatically handled. It's kinda crazy if you really think about it. Even with machine learning, there's a human aspect that we would want to avoid, and some more complex problems will probably be better solved by human minds. So now we have a scenario where the computer is actually using machine learning to predict the behavior of the human and be able to hand out proper punishments automatically. Now, obviously, there are going to be some potential issues when it comes to converting to automated responses for chat reporting. Inventive Talent has created a new service specifically for carrying out these actions called Pythia, or Pythia, I don't know, to handle all the data exporting. Apparently, this system was far more effective with chat reporting than planned to be, so that's why it's kind of slowly being moved over to that area. But depending on the system being used and the responses coming from it, more than likely, there are going to be times that the machine learning solution might need to go back and adjust the response that's initially given. I'm also not entirely happy to see these lower percentages, especially for a system that's now apparently dealing with half of all chat reports. This temporary mute at only a 60% confidence level is not exactly the most encouraging thing. That's a D minus letter grade. I feel like it should be higher than that before automatically giving an account a mute. What if a specific term that has no negative connotation is suddenly given that negative connotation by spam mutes? What if it automatically mutes someone who says that term without even knowing of the context behind it? There are a lot of potential situations that I think need to drop the automatic mute before punishment. Something like this always needs people behind it giving the final say which they seem to be doing for now. That's always the issue with automation though, and they even say that in the log. I think the fact that we had no idea that some of the chat reports were being handled automatically for the past few months is a good sign. Now that this system's public knowledge to the community, and now that we're beginning to understand exactly what is happening, I think the team can move forward to build faster, possibly implementing much more powerful algorithms. The developer log hints at build battle getting this treatment, and there's a chance that this system will eventually be implemented in every aspect of reporting on the server, from scam reporting, to chat reporting, to build reporting, to team reporting, to even reporting that doesn't exist yet. Based on the replies I've been seeing, it's clear a lot of people here don't understand what this thread is showing. And like I said, I'm also one of those people. But that doesn't mean I can't appreciate the scale and sheer talent that goes into things like this. A lot of suggestion threads I see on the forums are very watered down, uninformative, and rushed out suggestions saying, fix this reporting, or replace this with a third-party anti-cheat. 
without really knowing what exactly it is they're campaigning for. I don't think this developer log will change a lot of their minds, but I do hope it at least gives a bit of perspective. I'm definitely going to try to learn more about machine learning from this thread, and I think many others should as well. Consider it your homework for this video. If you take the time to think about it and learn, you can get so much from this thread. This developer log also covers another topic that I've been wanting to happen for a while, transparency. When it comes to transparency, I mean, this is about as close as you can get. Literally shows the inner workings of one of the most scrutinized and complained about aspects of the server. It's promising as a player to be able to see insight from the ones running the network. Although I don't understand every single thing in this thread, the fact that we're now being shown these types of things is the right way to be heading. We also get this neat little gif of this point cloud that's visually created what the model has learned. I think it's a start at that level, but it could always be better. I like the step in the right direction though, now it just needs not to take 5 steps back. Some people in the thread have brought up plenty potential hypotheticals with this system, from a kooky idea about the system randomly generating dropper maps, to ideas where it could harness the anti-cheat's power to target specific cheater infested game modes. I think things like that could be a later date thing, because right now, I don't think the community is fully invested in the idea of this. Just like people, it could learn, it could fail, but it shouldn't take forever to learn. Hopefully these worryingly small percentages go up and up and up at much quicker rates. For this to be an overall success, the system has to get things right right from the get-go. Even if it's the tiniest wave of false mutes, if it happens right after being publicly introduced, the community's perception of this is gonna plummet. So first impressions are absolutely critical here, and I hope that they can get that right. What do you guys think? Are you guys looking forward to this system being used throughout the server, or do you fear it's not ready yet and will break the server more than fix it? Let me know in the comments below. Well, that is all for today's video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Download my texture pack, link is in the description. Have an incredible afternoon, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hi everyone, thanks to those still watching who stuck around for this last little bit. I just want to say I really do appreciate you guys. This was a video I spent longer than usual on, and I did some different things editing wise this time around. Probably the biggest noticeable thing was the introduction and the subtitles. I know I made a video before talking about not including hyper editing in my videos, but I tried including a couple of toned down tropes of it to see how you guys would like it. Please let me know if you like it and want this to stay, or if you would prefer me to go back to the much simpler version before. Thanks guys, I'll see you later.